Welcome back. You're watching the Independent Republic of Mike Graham on Talk TV. Now, it's time for this. The World of Woke. You won't believe this one. Imagine making the trip to lay some flowers on a deceased loved one's grave and finding that someone had pushed the gravestone over so that it was lying flat on the ground. This is what is happening up and down the country as part of a new trend. But it's not vandals who are doing this desecration of our most reverential places. You've guessed it, it's your local council. That's right, I'm afraid it's the Health and Safety Brigade who have decided in their wisdom that they need to do spot checks of graveyards to make sure they are, in their words, safe. One place where it has already happened is Newcastle, Jesmond Old Cemetery, West Road Cemetery and Heaton Cemetery have all had a visit from the gravestone Jobsworths. According to their spokesman, the gravestone inspections were started in June to ensure that cemeteries are safe places for people to pay their respects and for our staff to work in. We understand, they say, that this is an emotive and sensitive subject, but we would like to reassure families that the work is carried out with the greatest respect and sensitivity. Yeah, right. Families that were appalled by what the council have done are angry that they were not only not told it was happening, but they're also now required to pay 250 quid to have the headstones put upright again. So you can tell if your loved one has been targeted that there's a yellow sticker left on the headstone with an explanation. Marvellous, isn't it? The official reason is that the Health and Safety at Work Act requires headstones to be given a hand push test to see if they fall over. One angry resident, Derek Armstrong, said that the grave to his triplet son, who died before their first birthday in 95, was sturdy enough. There was nothing wrong with it, he told the Times, but still they laid it flat. I mean, I've heard of some harebrained schemes in the world of work, but this one really is scraping the barrel. And to do it just before Christmas seems unusually cruel. The World of Work. I mean, have you ever heard anything like that? I'm absolutely... Imagine. I'm speechless. A guy went to put flowers on his mother's grave um, up in Newcastle at the weekend, and she always liked plastic flowers, so he always put plastic flowers down. And he got there, and somebody just knocked it flat. And they were literally going around cemeteries knocking down gravestones. It's disgusting. It's what's incredible. The, what's the actual health and safety grounds? How many people have had graveyard yeah. injuries? I can't how, imagine How many, many people have lost a limb to a falling gravestone? I mean, it's just bonkers. I know. It's, it's looking for problems where they don't exist, looking for mm. things to keep busy. Probably they've got too many people employed yeah. at that council. It's unbearably cruel. And, you know, if you lose your respect for the dignity of the dead... Yes. You haven't got much left. You're quite right about scraping the bottom of the it barrel. It really is. It's incredible. And, I mean, it's sort of symptomatic to me of where this society of ours has gone completely mad, mm. where somebody's going, oh, well, what if one of them falls over? I mean, I've never seen in any graveyard that I've ever been in a headstone fall over. No. Also, if they're going to if they're gonna push it over, they should damn well pick up the tab. Mm. Imagine yeah. being not only know that, that, you know, the grave of, in that case of, you know, your triplet sons your triplet, who died yeah. before their first birthday. I know. And you have to fork out... Hideous. ..250 quid just before Christmas. Mm. I mean, the, the kind of inhumanity... That, it's that kind of callousness of the computer says no counsel, mm. isn't it? It is. It's yes. just completely impersonal. Totally.